just a quick video. I haven't started to cut anything yet. I just have all X, Y, and Z axis together and functioning, all nice and neat and wired. Everything can be jogged around. Still working on the settings. Right now the current I've got set at 75%. For the time being I'm using the fuel line couplers. The homemade ones were okay, they were not as exact as I'd like them to be. A little bit too much, too much wobble. Changing bits is pretty pretty simple. Just raise it up, throw the switch, pull it out. This little black and decker rotary tool goes up to 30,000 RPMs. So we'll see if that's enough for a little bit of woodworking. Swings up. I put some square stock in to reinforce the deck. And hopefully in the next day or so, we'll try some cutting, start playing with some G-code, and see what we've got. For the Z-axis, I've got about four or five inches of play here. This can raise up until this gets just about to there. This is just screwed into the drawer slide, so we've got movement up through there. I would imagine this whole design could just be enlarged for a regular router to go in the center here. I used Cat5 cable there are eight wires in here, of course, so I doubled them up and just used two wires for each one wire because there are four coming out of these NEMA motors. It's a very affordable way to kind of do it, and I think it looks neat. These are just coiled up, of course, but it gives lots of, lots of leeway to move around. So getting there, this has been a learning experience. And I have a whole lot more to learn and figure out. Thanks for watching.